Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. You all know who I am. I'm Trump Shoes, the biggest and best Pokemon. There's no denying it. You were all probably thinking to yourselves, where's Rare Boy? Where's Rare Boy? He has generously decided to let me host today's video. Today we're going to find out if it's possible for me, Trump Shoes, to be Pokemon Fire Red. For this challenge, I had to devolve myself, which is something only I can do. No other Pokemon is capable of doing such a thing. And then once I did, I removed Zigzagoon from the game. I did this because you don't normally encounter Wild or Trainer other Zigzagoons in Kanto. This will make for the most authentic experience, and that's what the American people want. Some authenticity. The next thing I had to do was edit Zigzagoon's internal data so that it matched my fantastic stats, which are almost as good as my polling. Also, take a look at my extensive moveset. So big and beautiful. Look at it. No other Pokemon on this channel has ever had a moveset this nice. It's a really nice moveset. Now that we put me, Trump Shoes, in the game, we can go over the rules of the run, because this channel is all about lore and order. The first rule is that only Trump Shoes is allowed in battle. We can work with other hard-working Kanta Pokemon to assist us on our journey, but they are not allowed to battle, only I can do that. The next rule is that items are not allowed in battle, but we are allowed to have held items like leftovers, those are not illegal. And finally, and most important of all, is that no glitches or exploits will be used to complete this big beautiful game. It's just a normal playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red, but with me, Trump Shoes. With the rules explained, and with me being in the game, it's time to jump into some gameplay. My first order of business is for Rare Boy to pick me up from Professor Oak's lab. For this run, I replaced Charmander so that our rival takes Blastoise. It looks like a tank made by none other than our enemy, China. We gave me the glorious nickname of Trumpster, and we take a look at my stats and see that I have an impish nature which means higher defense but lower special attack. Which is fitting considering I'm all about brute strength and strong barriers to protect my beautiful alone people. With the Trumpster on the team, it's time to make Kanto great again. After gaining some attack and speed EVs off of the deplorable Mankeys and Rattatas, we took on Brock at level 17. I bided my time and took the hits from the fake news media, only for me to retaliate with my powerful bite attack. Brock's rock-hard Pokemon stood no chance against the strength and perseverance of the American people. We tried our luck at our rival at level 21, but unfortunately, Pidgeotto rigged the fight with an underhanded sand attack that ultimately led to my demise. I never give up and I always fight for the people of Aloha, so you better believe me when I tell you I'll be back. I come back to the battle at level 25, and with my bigger and beautiful stats, I'm able to take down our enemies without an issue. I took care of Misty without an issue, thanks to learning secret power on the route above Cerulean. But the fake news won't cover how quickly and easily I took this badge. They'll tell you, Trump shoe steals badge from innocent grow at the pool. It's all fake and lies. I got that badge, honestly. I decided to take a nice vacation on the SSN when our rival showed up and tried to ruin my day with some nonsense about my taxes. But I shut him down real quick. You wouldn't believe how quickly I struck him down. As I continued in my pursuit to make Kanto great again. Our next fight was against the great Lieutenant Surge. I think he's fantastic. Unfortunately for him though, I had to take care of him the same way I took care of our enemies China and Russia with brute force and non-negotiables. I heard there was organized crime in Celadon City, which is really bad. So I went down there to investigate it for myself and realized I'm going to need a lot more firepower on this one. I went back into the fight at level 40 and thanks to two massive critical hits, we dismantled organized crime from Celadon City. 
I decided to attend the memorial service at Pokemon Towers to honor the brave Pokemon who lost their lives in the Great Kanto War. When our rival tried to get confrontational with me during the memorial service, I showed him who's boss and reminded him to support the troops and honor the memories of those he served and made the ultimate sacrifice. I take on Erica at level 47. I like that number, 47. But thanks to my incredible secret power, her grass type stood no chance against me. Kovic tried to intimidate me with his disgusting and repulsive Pokemon, but I didn't have any time for this. You know, I'm busy, I'm making money, I'm busy. I decided to sit back and relax at Trump Tower, I mean Sylph Tower, when I was once again harassed by my rival. As always, he had nothing on me. All he did was waste my time and the American people's time. We had another fight against organized crime, and this fight came down to the wire. But thanks to speaking to my good friend Rudy Giuliani, I learned how to handle organized crime. Psychic Sabrina can predict the outcome of matches, but she couldn't predict how badly I mopped the floor with her team. It was disgraceful thinking she could even go toe-to-toe -to -toe against me. I tried my luck against Blaine at level 70, and to my surprise, his fire-hot Pokemon were no match for my burning desire for victory. I converted my millions of dollars into coins so that I could purchase the TM for Iron Tail, which will come in handy against the pesky rock types that await us. Thanks to our new move, Iron Tail, we swept Giovanni's team away like I did Crooked Hillary during the 2016 elections. With this gym badge, we also obtained the TM for Earthquake, which I used to replace Rock Tomb. Just outside Victory Road, my rival once again looks to cause issues with me. I'm starting to think he was sent by CNN. As always, I prevailed. And even though Blastoise tried to kill me with the China virus, we prevailed and make our way to the Elite Four. Here are my stats just outside the Elite Four at level 74. My impish nature is holding back my special attack, but other than that, my stats are solid and my moveset is fantastic. There's no better moveset than this. Make your final guesses on whether or not I can be Pokemon Fire Red. Let's find out. First up is Lorelei, and her Pokemon are far too bulky for my trunk prowess. Which means I'll have to come back bigger and better than ever before. I level up to 83 and learn the move Return, which is the strongest stab move I can have aside from Double Edge. With these two adjustments, Moralize to come to our newfound power and we're able to continue our journey. Next up is Bruno and while this battle looked promising at first, Machance Crosschalk completely annihilated me. It's not 100% accurate so I can continue trying this fight until he misses. On my very next attempt, I'm happy to learn that Return was just a ranged KO and this time around, we get a high roll for an easy one shot, and we're able to defeat Bruno. Nasty Agatha tried to pull off some shenanigans on me, but I was too smart for her and was able to defeat her on my first attempt. Looney Lance tried to shut me down quick with his intimidating Gyarados, but thanks to my amazing crit luck, I bypassed the stat drop and took out both Gyarados as well as Dragonite with one return. Even with my lowered attack, Aerodactyl and the two Dragonairs stood no chance against me. Finally, it all comes down to one final fight against my rival, Sleepy Joe. Unfortunately for me, his Pokemon are too bulky for me but with a few more levels, I can easily defeat him like I was supposed to in November of 2020. After running through the Elite Four several times and eating the last of my rare candies, I reached level 96, and at this level, 
we have just the right amount of offensive power to take down all six of Sleepy Joe's Pokemon. With this victory, I am entered into the Kanto Hall of Fame. My status as champion was cut short after four short years when Sleepy Joe returned and rigged the fight. They kicked me out of the Hall of Fame, but everyone in Kanto seems to turn a blind eye to the blatant rigging of this match. Well, Trump Shoes, thank you for taking over narration for this video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I have to go prepare for my next impossible Pokemon challenge. For my next challenge, we're going to find out if it's possible to be Pokemon Fire Red with only a Truant Durant. So if you don't want to miss that run, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Also, be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And in the comments section, I want to know what your favorite part of today's run was. This has been your boy Rare Boy. And Trump Shoes. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Excuse me, did you just watch this video? You must have if you made it this far into the video. And yet you haven't liked, commented, shared, or subscribed. A rare boy worked very hard on these videos. Please do the man a favor.